All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. So we're coming to you from the Freedom Studios. Got an email from a gentleman named Matt. Matt, thanks a lot. And his question to me was, an Illinois judge this past week deemed the FOID Act unconstitutional. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are about it. And you want more info, <laughs> go to Guns and Gadgets. Jared's a good friend of mine. Talk to him all the time. But one of the things I don't do is if I'm going to do a video on a particular subject, I try not to watch his videos because I don't want my video to be based on any information he may have gotten. Uh, before we get started, though, I want to introduce you to a really cool product. Uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of these things because I've run out of time and actually doing a lot of reviews on it. But this guy right here, I am going to take it to the field and I'm going to do a review. This is a, uh, a small tripod very strong tripod and it's designed to go on your precision rifle for platform shooting or shooting off of a table or in low positions and it's adjustable into about 20 million different uh, angles that you can get into and one thing that I do like about it is that I can shoot this thing off a table I can set it up like a bipod if I wanted to just like that um, Pretty simple, pretty easy. It will go with the ARCA rail as well as a pick rail connection points up here. And I got a lot of attachments that I'm going to share with you in its review. But I wanted to introduce you to the thing, DeathEggSquad.com. Check them out. All right, so let's talk about this real quickly. Uh, Matt, here's my deal. I'm going to read this little deal. This is from thecapitalfacts.com, and this was the uh, press release that they did uh, yesterday. The White County resident judge T. Scott Webb has ruled Illinois FOID card law unconstitutional, paving the way for the Illinois Supreme Court to take up the issue. Okay, so that's what's going to happen. Uh, according to Richard Pearson, executive director of the Illinois State Rifle Association. First of all, kudos for getting to this part because... You're going to lay a precedent because California has something similar to this. I think that uh, New York may have. I'm not exactly sure, but you have to have a card in order to purchase any firearm. And I know that in California, if you have a concealed carry, that firearm that you are concealing and you're carrying has to actually be on that card, which is even more uh, a detriment to your Second Amendment rights. The case is the people of Illinois versus Vivian Claudine Brown. In March 2017, Brown was accused of possessing a firearm without a FOID card. In dismiss dismissing the charges against Brown, Judge Webb also ruled the FOID card unconstitutional. In his ruling, Judge Webb stated a citizen in the state of Illinois is not born with a Second Amendment right, nor does that right ensure when a citizen turns 18 or 21 years of age. Hmm. It is, it is a facade, according to uh, Al Gore. Not Al Gore. What was his name? Dan something another. Uh, it's, it is a facade. They only gain that right if they pay a $10 fee, complete the proper application, and submit a photograph. If the right to bear arms and self-defense are truly core rights, there should be no burden on the citizenry to enjoy those rights, especially within the confines and privacy of their own homes. Accordingly, if a person does something themselves from being able to exercise that right, like being convicted of a felony or demonstrating mental illness, then only then may the right be stripped from them. Do you recall not too long ago when they were walking around and trying to find people whose FOID cards had expired? Well, right now you've got a deal where they're 250 days behind on reapplication. And a lot of times what they're saying is like, don't worry about it. We know you got it. And that's, that's in accordance with somebody who I know who is a gun dealer in Illinois. Uh, Pearson said he is hopeful for a positive outcome when the Illinois Supreme Court takes up the case. The rights afforded to us in the Constitution are rights guaranteed to every American. That's correct. Every American, not Americans who live in this state, but not that state, or Americans who live in this state and not that state. So Illinois, you have to pay $10 in order to enjoy and exercise your Second Amendment right. But that's kind of like Tennessee. Tennessee, they've got a fee for a background check. You have to pay for everything, ladies and gentlemen. It's not exactly free. Uh, we can go over to the Walmart parking lot and I can sell you any gun I want in North Carolina. The right to bear arms should not be contingent on paying a fee. Right now, there is a legislation pending in Springfield to make these fees even costlier. Well, of course it is. It's Illinois. They got to pay for Chicago. And you know, Lori Lightfoot is up there saying, well, our gun problem stems from other areas of the state, not our state. We're perfect. Because, you know, our gangbangers are innocent until somebody from Gary, Indiana shows up. Oh, wait a minute, I got to cross my eyes and talk like this. 
Sorry. It is absolutely ridiculous that honest citizens should have to pay fees, fill out applications, and wait on government to respond to requests just to be able to exercise their right. Illinois is one of my only four, one of only four states with the arcane FOID laws. We need to join other 46 states that place a premium on the constitutional liberties, like South Carolina, like Texas, like West Virginia. But unfortunately, Illinois is ruled by that little city on the Northeast. It's called Chicago. There's not much better out of Springfield. Well, anyway, guys, that's it. Matt, that's my take on it. I think it's BS. And I hope and pray that the Illinois Supreme Court takes this thing up and they agree. But unfortunately, the problem with that is, is if they do agree with this measure and they make it unconstitutional, the legislature, your uh, politicians up there will just think of another way to go ahead and rule over the middle class because that's what it's about, your taxes and ruling. Guys, that's my thoughts. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. We've done these videos on the FOID cards. I hate them, and I think it's BS. Let me know. If, uh, we've already done that. All right, we'll always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Because freedom is not freedom. I'm talking about the men and women in uniform who protect our constitutional rights as it was written by our founding fathers. That's the important thing because otherwise I wouldn't have to be sending this via horse, parchment, and a quill. And it would be hard to reach every one of you like that. If you, uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And uh, I'm KB32. Thanks, Matt. Y'all be good. Boom.